Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders! Last time, we made a cannon. And then we shot it at things, specifically a wall. So the glaring holes in the wall were a little bit of an eyesore, so I plugged them up with more salt or whatever. But I did leave the one hole there so we know where the mine is. But what I did with all that obsidian was line the town. So this chapter is kind of interesting in how you want to prepare your town. Because there are some large enemies that can break breakable blocks, such as this. So there are smaller enemies that can, like the um, hammer hoods, that cannot break this. So this is fine. There are larger enemies, however, that can break this. So you need something stronger, like obsidian. So, between these two barriers, they cannot get in the town. Like, the hammer hoods will be able to squeeze through here and hit this, but the large ones will be stuck out here. Now, the reason I put this out here, instead of just making the whole wall out of obsidian, is because those larger enemies also have reach. Which means if they butt up against this, they can swing through and they can still take out this building inside, even if they can't get in. So how are we going to defend the town, though? And that's where this over here comes in. So I had to make kind of an interesting setup over here. Because the smaller enemies, larger enemies, and what have you, they're generally going to be approaching from this side. So most of what I've built around this town is actually kind of pointless. It's mostly this front here. And for this, I need to be able to shoot them with cannons. And you can do this with cannons. Just kind of peek them out and you can shoot the cannon through that gap. With the obsidian here, they won't be able to break anything, though the larger enemies will still be able to reach through and break if they get this far. Which means that's a solution we're going to have to worry about later. At least for the moment, though, this should do a pretty good job. On top of that, so you can run over, you can just use to shoot the cannon. So that takes care of that. And later on, we're going to be getting some tools to help us be even more efficient with this. Right now, it's not the best tool in the world. And like, if the enemy actually manages to advance close enough, of course you can't shoot them in the face with the cannon like right here, because that, that'll just blow up your obsidian wall. So there's a lot of like kind of fun you can have in this chapter, but also a lot of you don't have much choice but to just go out and hack at a guy. But now that we've built cannons... Hey, Glutamus! You're not gonna... Heck yeah, even Glutamus is coming! Alright, so... Last time I did this solo. But we've already treaded this ground, so you know... Let's actually show off... The crew. All right. Burley and Maxi, let's go. Hey, Burly!
Let's go bust some heads. The muscly crew cometh. And we are come to save Barbella. So I like that all their names are friggin' like muscle and lifting based. Like even the lady is Barbella. Like a friggin' barbell. So there's a lot we can't do. We still can't fight them yet. But I'm sure Barbella will have some kind of clue for us. We've defeated all the guards, fought our way through all of this mess. Even the golems have decided not to come out and play. Man, what happened over here? That's coming. Aw, oh, heck. Are you alright? We all good? We all good? I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, like the fire guys can break it or something. Alright, well that'll give us a slightly easier time. So let's get going. Bust some heads. Who here wants some? Okay, that's that. All we gotta do is go in and save Barbella. Let's take a nap first, actually. Because it's getting just a little late. I don't know why it took so long to get here. Took all day to walk out here. Okay, take two. Earl, an early morning assault. Okay, you guys are gonna take out him. I'll worry about this guy. Actually, can you guys worry about this guy? I'll worry about the way the wizard, the wonderful wizard. No, they're actually ignoring this guy. So much easier when you have like a whole crew. You just wreck everything. Now don't go getting in over your head though. The eight guys in there, let's go beat them up. Okay, I can only I can draw only two out. That'll make our lives a little easier. One. Draw on the second one out, because we knocked the guy too far back into his house. But he's almost dead, so it doesn't matter. Oh, you know, I forgot to make a change to the town. I rem I'm reminded as soon as we came out here. I'm grabbing this table and that, because of reason. I like how all, they're all using this hammer. Man, I'd join them in using that hammer if this wasn't about to break. Oh, these guys weren't here before. And they're not gonna be here for much longer. Rude. Alright, time to free the troll. So here's the thing. Um... Obsidian is just as strong as this fortress block, as far as the enemies are concerned. Oh, also the blocks, like, very subtly home in. Or the shots very subtly home in. So you don't have to be 100% accurate. Can't see his health bar. That's fine. Wow. Got a lot of help. 
I don't actually care about the stone. Man, you and your weird hitboxes. I liked it better when I was attacking this foot. Oh no! We lost Glutamus! And Maxi! Or Burly. I can't actually tell the difference. Oh, you see though, they just kind of rest up and then they get going again. So they're good. It's okay, we'll get this guy. I am hurting though. But we killed him! We have downed the beast! Oh, and we got an evil idol, which makes life pleasant. Everybody over here, I'm blowing the hatch. And prizes! Wonderful prizes! The Seed of Light. Oh, thank you for the full... Thank you for the health increase, by the way. Oh, those steel sabatons, not what I wanted. What do they even do? Reduce falling damage by 50%? That's like almost feather fall boots. Well, what do I have on? Max HP by 10. Attack plus 5. Hmm. I'll hold off for now. That's a mimic! A ruby of protection? Decreases damage taken from direct attacks by 50%. Where's that HP ring? And, you know, just in case you need some. All right, we've got our wonderful prizes. And a lot of dead guys. Base guard fragment. Spiked armor! Well, let's have at it! As soon as we stab this guy... Ow. Oh, that's right, that's all they do is charge. I was thinking he was gonna do a different kind of attack. That's the only fancy attack they do, though, is charge. Okay, we're almost there. Just got to stab this guy in the back. And by back, I need to put him. so much easier when you have an army of muscle. But who said I ever did things because they were easy? I do things because I can't. Hey! Shut your hole! What I thought. Okay, let's just get inside. So you're still here, I can see. Still saying the same old story? Well, too bad! Oh, so I was mentioning though that um, this is really good. This is really good stuff. This castle block is really good stuff. But we currently can't get it. There we go. Because even when we break it with the cannon, we destroy the blocks outright. We don't turn them into pick upable blocks, like we did with obsidian. Yeah, let's get her.
Look, don't... Th don't question the face. It has gotten me through many a rough time. Enemies, a eh? Oh boy, there's a couple of them. That didn't work. I need my cannon back. So you don't have to fight these guys. You can just kind of get gone. In fact, there are way too many of them to reliably rescue them. Then all you have to do is get this far and then they all despawn. Well, like, I don't know, some of them. And then I'm coming back for the stragglers because fudge you guys. Like that troll though, you saw the troll alone was gonna be problems if you wanted to stop and fight. So technically at this point, we can clear our inventory because it's full. Well, let's just do that for now. Um, once you get that message that says like you've successfully done it, you can just Chimera Wing out. Sure. And we return with the whole crew! And Barbella joins the town. So you can tell by looking at her, Barbella is... People are expecting, like, oh, maybe it's some, like, real nice princessy lady or some pretty lady. She's, like, the female version of them. That was me. Man, look at the muscle on that arm. I don't know if you guys can see that definition through the videos. I'd say the difference between her and all of them is I'm pretty sure she's both smarter and stronger than all of them. I figured. And a bath she has! And I'm going to bed. So does your outfit change? Because that actually looks like what you're going to keep wearing. Her outfit, like, didn't change at all. Okay, cool. But we did it! We got Barbella back! A hey, Glutamus! Get in the tub! He's excited! Look, I told you, it's not that big a deal. It's fine. Heck yeah. Man, he's gonna help me build my body up, yeah! Gonna go make some dumbbells! Bump that iron!
Alright, so get the base to level 3. That's actually going to be pretty easy. I'll believe it. So I think it's time we tidy this place up a little bit, though. And by that, I mean I kind of already have, and... It should be easy enough for us to get it up to level 3 at the very least, though. My plan for that... Because I've done most of the work otherwise, and most of the work that's going to get me points... There's a couple aesthetic, thing, aesthetic things that I want to do, but they're not going to actually get me points to do it. Um, but I do want to... Well, we're gonna have to do something with this over here eventually, but I'm, I'll worry about that when we worry about that. I should probably actually make it into a room or something, because I've got this right here. Let's just real quick make this a room. That'll get us level 3, like, immediately. And then we're done! Do I have any doors handy? Of course not, why would I have doors handy? Can I make fancy doors? I th I'm pretty sure I can, it's just like, yeah, I can make wooden doors. Just wooden iron. Well, that's gonna be something else that'll raise us up, is putting in wooden doors everywhere. One of these inside and out, that gets us a room. And the points from that give us our level. And I'm pretty sure I have a chest. And I think we can plop that down, which makes this into... No? It doesn't? Alright, well, whatever. We'll worry about that another time. It's level 3, though, so we're good. That's all we needed to do. I had other plans, but that also works. Cool. Yeah, she mentioned that. Perfect plan. I like it. Can just work out halfway, you're not gonna build any muscle that way. If you don't put the strain on, you're not gaining nothing. Doing my best. I mean, that seems to be the M.O. Exactly. Oh, I've kind of already done that. Oh, on that note, um, despite that I did as much as I did here, this will keep out the vast majority of enemies. There are still some that can get in. Um, specifically, there's a couple enemies that can jump. So, unless you wanted to build... There's not really anything you can do about those unless you want to build your walls like friggin' 40 blocks up or something. Ugh. A double barreled bomber and a pressure plate. Oh, well, this sounds amazing. Oh, man, her arms all scarred up. 
I mean, she's been out there getting in trouble for quite a while now. Pressure plates... Buttons... Okay, so this looks pretty fancy. What exactly are you? Cannons... Does it have to be flagstone? So this is actually real easy. Um, I'm going to make some modifications to this. When I actually, like, use it, use it. But this is actually pretty handy. I'm about to just make it here in town because I don't want to make it like this anyway. Do I have any flagstone? Stone wall, flagstone. Whoops. If you put too many blocks in, I wonder if that counts. Can you come in if I break this? Oh no, because I got the thing on the other side. We're cool. Okay, let's grab them cannons. Plop them down. And I think the only thing left was the pressure plate. Pressure plate, pressure plate! Simple enough. I don't need three of them, but whatever. Can everybody be very careful, because this is... Now that I think about it, I've built something very dangerous in the middle of our town. So that's exactly what it does. The pressure plate triggers anything electric nearby, anything that can be triggered nearby. And now that we have that welder's bench, we can actually start dipping our nose into electric devices. So the nice thing about this, though, is we can put that pressure plate and it will trigger cannons. Everybody likes blowing stuff up. I sure can, that's what I do! So, uh, first let's remove the safety hazard, as I hit the switch with my hammer immediately triggering both cannons. So what the eventual plan is going to be, and this is going to be a little bit tricky at the moment, unless I can just real quick make two more cannons. Cannons, 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 cannons. There seems to be a wall in the way. So I'm gonna be doing that, and... Actually, maybe I do just wanna put a pressure plate between them. Do I wanna put a pressure plate? I was gonna... My plan, how I was going to modify it, was I was going to put a button on the wall between them. But I suppose the pressure plate would mean there's less ambiguity. Hey! 
That works pretty well, I think. And I gotta go out here and... This is gonna be a problem for a while. Because I am going to plow so many holes in the ground. And I'm going to feel inclined to have to go back and fix them each and every time. I may just leave it at flat ground and just fill holes. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, there's still more fun we can have, though, so let me get to work. 